the Jedi Temple Guards are some of the coolest looking background Star Wars characters. They've made appearances in both the Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels, and like their name implies, their duty was to guard the Jedi Temple from any intruders, which ultimately didn't end well when Order 66 happened. Unfortunately, LEGO has never put out an official Jedi Temple Guard minifigure, and while I believe people do make custom Jedi Temple Guards that you can buy, I imagine the prices of those are all pretty expensive. So I'm here today to show you how you can make a cheap Jedi Temple Guard with pieces from your collection. This doesn't require any custom parts. Uh, this will all be made out of official Lego pieces that you may have or you can buy on Bricklink or eBay or any other sites that sell Lego parts. And I'm going to be providing uh, multiple ways to make this figure. So if you don't have a certain piece uh, to make the figure in your collection, you can always look at the alternate ways I make this and um, you may have one of the pieces I use for it instead. So let's get started. For the torso and the legs, the best figure I found was Luke from The Last Jedi. He's got these white and tan colored robes here, a brown belt, and the robe printing continues onto the legs. And the back of the torso is pretty detailed as well. And then since I think the Jedi Temple Guards wear gloves, you may want to add some different colored hand pieces to swap out for Luke's mismatched hands. I'm personally going to use white because I think that looks best on the figures, but you can use whatever color you want. So I'd say that's a pretty good start. However, the Last Jedi Luke figure is actually pretty expensive. It goes for about $18 on Bricklink. And if you're wanting to build multiples of these Jedi Temple Guard figures, I imagine you probably don't want to spend that much on a bunch of Last Jedi Lukes. So a cheaper solution I'd offer is Farm Boy Luke from A New Hope. Is a much more common figure. I imagine most of you have this guy in your collection, but if you don't, it'll cost you about four bucks on Bricklink. And I know it doesn't look as accurate to the Jedi Temple Guard robes, but I'd say it's a reasonable substitute if you're not wanting to spend as much money for the last Jedi Luke figure. Now for the hood, it's really easy. There's only one really good option. It's this white hood here. Um, I looked to see if LEGO made a tan hood, and they actually don't make a tan hood in any sets, so the white one is your best option. I suppose you could go with the brown hood. That's a much more common hood that a lot of Jedi use, but I just don't think it works that well. The Temple Guards tend to favor a lot of lighter colors for their robes, so I'd go with the white hood. Unfortunately, no Jedi um, in, a, in a LEGO set comes with a white hood. It's pretty much just superhero sets that have white hoods. So if you don't have any of those sets, you could just get one from Bricklink or eBay. They're just about 50 cents. We've got a few different options for the face. Uh, one that I think looks especially cool is the face of Quay Tolsite, aka the Pike from Solo. Um, you can just take his face off and put it on the figure and attach the hood like so. I think that looks pretty cool. The eyes are actually fairly accurate to the Jedi Temple Guards, and I think the gold underneath the white hood looks really cool. Unfortunately, like the last Jedi Luke figure, the Quay Tulsite figure is also very expensive. It'll cost you about 60 bucks, maybe more. I think due to the fact that the Pikes have uh, appeared in the Book of Boba Fett, and a couple other shows as well. Um, and this is the only Pike figure you can get uh, from LEGO at the time. So the popularity and the price of these figures has continued to rise. So if you don't own the Quay Tulsite figure, it's definitely not worth getting it just for the face to use for this figure. Instead, I'd go for either the Imperial ATDP driver from Star Wars Rebels or the Revenge of the Sith clone pilot. Both of these are much cheaper. Uh, these figures will both cost about six bucks. And I think they look pretty nice on the figures as well. Here's the clone pilot face, and here's the ATDP driver face. And if you know of any other LEGO faces that might work better, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm guessing you probably won't be able to find a face that looks exactly like the Jedi Temple Guard masks, 
um, but I think one of these three will work pretty well. So that's it for the figure. All you'll need to add is the Jedi Temple Guard's yellow double-bladed lightsaber. You can use whatever hilt color you'd like. And then for the blades, LEGO actually does not make any yellow bladed lightsabers, but the yellow blade piece does exist. You could get them for about 20 cents on Bricklink. Um, so that's 40 cents for two of them. Or if you want to use something from your Star Wars collection, you could also use the yellowish green blades that some Jedi have instead of the green ones. Some of them just came with the yellowish green color blades for some reason but you can use that. Um, they won't cost any extra if you have two of them, and they actually look pretty similar, so if you don't care too much about the color, you can use yellowish green. And that's all you need to do. This is the closest I could get to the accuracy of a temple guard. Um, again, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions to improve the figure. This is the version I like best with the clone uh, helmet and the Last Jedi Luke robes and the yellow lightsaber. But if you'd like a cheaper option, this is what I'd suggest with the A New Hope Luke and the uh, yellowish green lightsaber. And then you can always swap out the face for the ATDP driver as well. Um, but both of these cost about the same amount. And this is also what I'd recommend if you're planning to get a lot of them because the A New Hope Luke torso and legs are a lot cheaper than the Last Jedi Luke's. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful if you're looking to add some cool new Jedi to your collection. What? And I might use a couple of these guys in some animations in the future. Who knows? <laughs> Alright, well, thank you all for watching. Uh, I realized I'm about to hit my four-year anniversary since I put my first video up on the channel. So thank you so much for the support. Uh, I'm going to keep working hard, putting out some new videos for this year. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Hope you enjoyed, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.